Hi, uh, good morning. Yeah, welcome to Simon Heels. My name is Simon. So um, I just finished my morning practices and come down to the beach here in Koh Samui. Uh, it's an absolutely stunning morning. Um, so I thought I'd share this beautiful, this beautiful moment with you, and also um, to share with you. Um, yeah, just a couple of the messages that came through to me in my practice this morning. Um, my, very briefly, my practice um, involves, um, it's probably about somewhere around an hour and a half, uh, not that I time it, but, you know, I, I start with the first thing I do in the morning is to connect with gratitude for, you know, f focus on the things in my life. Uh, that I have right now to be grateful for. And oftentimes that's just really very um, simple things like, you know, gratitude for, for, the, for the health that I have, for the air that I breathe, the, the roof over my head, the bed to sleep in, the food in the fridge, etc., etc. You know, so just, you know, very, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes there may be something more <clears throat> to feel grateful for but you know oftentimes it's just that I mean the important thing there is just to actually connect with that feeling of gratitude um, and really start the day with the with the glass half full and not the glass half empty <laughs> um, I'll do some I'll spend some time just focusing on um, affirmations affirmations um, both of which I'll go into in some detail um, at a later date. Um, how you know how to practice best practice those, um, and um, yeah, then start follow that up with some pranayama, some breathing, diaphragmatic breathing, um, and transition from there into some meditation. I guess the meditation is usually somewhere between 20 to 30 minutes. Um, it can be simple breathing meditation, uh, just mindfulness of breathing. Um, often I'll bring some Reiki into the meditation. So um, <clears throat> that's um, Reiki for healing, for others, for self, for others you know, for the collective of humanity, for the world, for the planet, yeah. Uh, so um, I'll do that. And then I, um, yeah, something I missed actually to mention there is early on in that practice, I will, I'll smudge. So with sage, Palo Santo, light some incense. Uh, yeah, and it's really, really important as well. Um, that we ground, that we um, that we protect ourselves, and make sure that just to say either out loud or to yourself that I do not consent. I do not consent to any low vibration, negatively polarized um, energies, entities, thought forms, artificial intelligence entering into me. Um, <clears throat> So not consenting to that and then asking, actively asking for guidance, protection <clears throat> from, you know, from the angelics, from, uh, from those higher vibrational uh, beings and entities that are out there. Okay, so um, that really kind of summarizes my morning practice. And then from the meditation, I transition into... Uh, writing morning pages, uh, three pages, conscious stream. And the, the purpose of this video, the focus, uh, yeah, let's sit down here while I'm talking. Yeah, so the, the kind of real focus of, of this um, video this morning um, is a couple of the messages um, that have come through in the in the writing this morning um, and one of these really is around reality and personal reality um, 
you know, yet again, we've got a situation going on in the world, um, <clears throat> the world of men, which, you know, is we're being told that there's conflict, that there's danger, that there's suffering. And, um, and when we start to, you know, hear this kind of stuff, you know, we question what can we do about it? What, what can our response be? What should our response be? And I got a really kind of clear answer to this question for myself this morning. Um, that, um, you know, that my personal reality is what I put my attention into and what I focus on. And that by believing that there's something going on out there that is, <clears throat> you know, that is, that is conflict and dangerous and that there's suffering, etc. By, by focusing on that, how does that affect my immediate moment-to-moment, day-to-day reality? And, um, you know, because my day-to-day reality is very beautiful. Um, I have beautiful relationships. I love the work that I do. Um, I live in an incredible, beautiful place. Um, and, And that by focusing on something externally that is going to bring potentially bring me into a place of fear or guilt, um, then that's not going to help in any way, any situation, whether it's my personal reality or um, any potential reality out there. You know, that really what I can best do is to stay in a, in the highest vibration possible. Um, and that in turn will send that frequency out into the into the world at large and into the collective and help to raise that and to um, reduce the fear and the suffering that is out there and then there's another really important part um, to the message that came through which I understand um, may be challenging to hear in fact i actually suggested this to a friend i was back in england that i was talking to a few days ago and um, his his kind of reaction um his resistance was so kind of tangible um in the conversation <clears throat> almost that he became kind of like very defensive and all i asked was how do you know there's a war going on between Russia and Ukraine, because he he was talking about that, you know, and how bad the situation is. I said, how do you know? And he said, well, you know, everyone knows it's in the media. I said, yeah, but how do you know? And I think this is something that we should all really ask ourselves, not just about this specific situation, but um, anything that we're that we're told in the media, we should question it. I believe we should. I think that's um, I think that's only that's responsible to do that. That's intelligent to do that. Um, and for me, unless I see something and experience something directly, then I can't know that it's real. I can't know. And this this goes back to the last video I, I made about, I think, it, it, you know, really um, understanding the difference between Believing and knowing, they are two different things. And we've been led to the understanding that belief is the ultimate thing, that if you believe something, then it, it's, it has to be true. And this is not the case. Belief is still subjective. Whereas knowing is absolute. So if and when, maybe, I know that there's a situation going on out there, then I may choose to either do something about it, put some attention into it. But at the moment, I'm certainly not, I'm certainly not going to. Um, And um, yeah, I'll give you an example of, you know, how we can 
how our reality is very much um even our immediate reality is, is very much a um consequence of where we put our focus and our, our thoughts in that moment yeah so a few days ago um i had to leave the island and to leave the island um it's either by aeroplane or by ferry so i went on the ferry and um <clears throat> so i'm in the queue the line for the for the tickets at the ticket office and the you know the signs everywhere to wear a mask and to present your vaccination certificates and all this kind of stuff um and i got to the window and um i of course i wasn't wearing a mask and don't have vaccination certificates um and you know everyone prior to me and probably afterwards uh, everyone's queuing up with their masks on they've got all their documents their pile of paper in their hand proving everything that's you know being requested of them i just got to the window and i asked for a ticket and and the the lady serving gave me a ticket i paid for it and i moved on she didn't ask me for anything because that's just not my reality i wasn't even going to start entertaining that or getting into that i had no fear no concern as i walked to the as i you know as i approached the uh the window to be served and that and that was what i experienced so really please do not doubt your your potential your you know your power within any given situation to manifest uh your own reality and if you're listening to this and thinking well you know that's okay for simon he lives in a beautiful place and he loves what he's doing and i got this shitty job and i hate where i live or i hate my relationships whatever it is please please remember that you manifested that and you know because because we live in the in the third density where there is time between the the thought and the intention and the manifestation the reality you're experiencing now um is is a consequence and has been created by the thoughts and the attention and feelings that you're experiencing some time ago you know and often time people have listened to something like this and they go yeah yeah that's good that's good i'm going to do my affirmations i'm going to stay positive do my vision board whatever it is and then it you know nothing's happened after one or two days and 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 then they you know switch on the tv or pull on the news feed you know on facebook or whatever and uh, get back into the kind of like the fear and the guilt and the shame and um and then it's like oh this manifestation stuff it doesn't work you know and then life will to kind of continues as it as it was um so this is work it's work that we have to do but it does pay off and it will pay off for you if you're not doing that now it will pay off for you um so and then there's a there's another another message that came through which i was told when this came through that the there may there may be some my my dog's biting my foot <laughs> it tickles so the, the, he he wants to keep walking okay come on fred we'll keep walking so um yeah that there may <clears throat> there may be some uh some resistance uh when i share i share this message um but i was asking in my writing about you know energy vampires let's call them you know cuz i i've got someone in my life at the moment that i'm finding the relationship the situation extremely draining and it's one that i can't just totally avoid i mean obviously that in that situation the first thing to do is just to avoid that relationship and that situation but you know sometimes particularly for example with family that's not so easy to do um so yeah i was asking about that and you know how the, you know this how this person drains my energy you know and the message that came through to me is that i don't have any energy we don't have any individual energy that we are constantly provided with energy from source yeah this is chi ki prana whatever you want to call it 
uh, the grace of God. This, uh, we, we're provided with this constantly. And in any moment, we either receive this energy, accept it and receive it, or we resist it. So what's happening um, for me with this person that I'm finding challenging is because I've got resistance to this person, you know, always demanding my time, my attention, my resources, because I have I'm in resistance to that, that it's that resistance within me that is draining my energy, not the person. No, no person can drain another person's uh, energy. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. I thought that was really amazing wisdom that came through and certainly helped me. Um, I asked about boundaries there, you know, because does that mean I have no boundaries that I just kind of give um, from this kind of limitless abundance of source? And yeah, potentially the answer to that is yes. And, um, you know, if you're a saint, a bodhisattva, a Buddha, maybe, maybe there's no boundaries, maybe there's no need for boundaries, you know, but... Um, but for most of us, you know, again, in this kind of third density reality that we live in, um, then there is a, a need for some boundaries. Yeah, and those are, those are personal. Those are extremely personal to know what, what your boundaries are and are. And they can change. Our boundaries can change. Don't get locked into a fixed set of what you believe is right and wrong for you. Yeah, I really urge that. Be really flowing with that. What feels right in this moment? Sometimes I'm able to give more than at other times, you know? Sometimes my capacity to be present for someone, to listen to all their, you know, all their woes and sorrows is far more than at other times where I feel that I just have to say, no, sorry, I'm, I, I, I'm just not available for you right now. Maybe my capacity to give of my resources, um, you know, kind of changes as well. Um, so, yeah, those, I guess those are my, the messages that I wanted to share with you this morning. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this walk with me along uh, Lipanoi Beach here in Koh Samui this morning. Wherever you are in the world, whatever time it is, wishing you a beautiful day, afternoon, evening, night time ahead, um, and sending you much love from Koh Samui. Thank you so much for, wa for watching, for listening. Stay well.